Joining me now is Simon Balmain. He's a Twitter employee, but has found himself locked out of his work laptop today. Hello to you, Simon. Thanks for joining us. Tell us uh, what's happened in the last 24 hours or so to you and, and to your colleagues. Sure. So um, we sort of started hearing strong rumours about, about layoffs a few days ago, um, which I'm sure everybody heard about because it, you know, it leaked quite quickly to the press. Um, late last night, we all received an email saying, you know, there is going to be a large reduction in headcount. Um, and the email stated that uh, if we would be laid off, we'd hear from our, to our personal email, and if not, to our work email. And it was about an hour after that, and this is in the early hours of the morning UK, like 2 a.m., um, that I noticed my work laptop was remotely wiped, um, and my email access and Slack access were both revoked, um, and then got in touch with a few colleagues, um, and it seems a lot of people were seeing the same thing. So that's, that's what happened. Uh, and how do you feel, Simon? Obviously, you still haven't received official word as to whether uh, you're going to lose your job or not. Um, how are you feeling? Yeah, a bit of a weird mix of emotions. I've, you know, uh, really enjoyed working at Twitter. It's It's been incredible. Um, but, you know, this, this acquisition has been unprecedented in about a million different ways, um, as everybody's been following along with over the last few months. And... Um, you know, every every day is, is something new and a new corner is turned and we, you know, have, have all been trying to deal with it as best we can. Um, I'm generally a pretty zen, pretty optimistic person. So I'm I'm pretty OK, actually, you know, regardless of, of what happens. Um, it's it's been sad. I, I think um, there's a lot of interesting projects that have been in the works at Twitter to different degrees prior to this acquisition. My, my biggest thing is like, if a lot of those projects now sort of get the development gets stopped and they, they don't really see a wide release um, in favor of, of new things, then that's understandable, but it's also a real shame because there was stuff with real potential going on. There are suggestions uh, that as many as half uh, the 7,000 strong workforce could lose their jobs uh, later today and of course there's been a lot of uncertainty hanging over Twitter lately hasn't there with the uh, purchase uh, by Elon Musk not knowing whether it would happen or not and then of course um, he's made some rather bold statements in terms of what he wants to do with the company since taking over what is morale like among the workforce yeah it's it's been kind of all over the place it's been a roller coaster ever since April when he sort of first made the offer then throughout the summer with this you know lawsuit and you know changing his mind and then you know it looked at the last minute you know when the court case was set to happen he obviously changed his mind back and and wanted to do the deal and has now done the deal so it, it really has been um difficult for people to really stay focused um not knowing what's going to happen i mean the the communication throughout was very much always along the lines of we'll tell you when we know more and then yeah, that was just an ongoing thing sort of week after week month after month um i personally try to keep my head down and, and focus on the work but um it, it's definitely been incredibly distracting over the last few months for sure obviously you know musk did pay an enormous amount of money uh, for twitter 44 billion dollars uh he is now trying to make the company profitable uh were job cuts expected yeah, I, I think so. I, I think it would be naive to um, to not have, have seen that coming, given everything that was reported about the economics of, of the deal and the fact that he was trying to get out of it for so long and um, then was sort of had to do it, whether that was completely of his own volition or, or whether because he felt the, you know, the, the outcome of the court case would not be in his favour. You know, whatever reasons those may be, the deal was completed and at the original price. And... Um, yeah, I think layoffs were inevitable to a degree. To, I think to some degree, um, layoffs were probably inevitable regardless, even if the deal hadn't happened. Uh, I'm not sure what the final amount would be. It probably would have been lower if, if this acquisition hadn't happened um, because it's put a lot on the balance sheet of, of him and the company. Um, so, yeah, it's it's just a weird one. 
Uh, well, we do appreciate you uh, speaking to us at what must be uh, a pretty stressful time. Uh, thank you very much pleasure. Uh, indeed for speaking to us, Simon, and we wish you well with whatever happens later on today. Thank you so much. Cheers.